All right. Well, hello, everybody. And I can already tell this is going to be a fabulous show. Uh, we've got people watching from all over, moms and dads and families and friends and neighbors. And I know we've got some people who are just wondering what it is we're talking about here tonight. So uh, first, let me just say welcome, everybody. Appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, we started our project at the beginning of the summer with Live with David, and I am David Burroughs, your host. And we're starting a new season here tonight. And what a way to kick it off with a big bang, or I'm going to say a powerful night here, and you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Um, but first, let me just tell you a little bit about what, what we are here with Live with David here on uh, the Video Show Network. Uh, I'm based in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, and uh, broadcasting live from my studio here at home in Sarnia. And the Video Show Network is all about positive things, music, events, and community. And uh, wherever you're watching from, we are simulcast on many different places, on Facebook, different groups, uh, even on our, our website at tvsn.ca. But the best place for you to watch is on our Facebook page, the Video Show Network. And the reason why that's the best place, and I'm going to show you that link here if you want to find your way over, this is the best place to watch the show tonight because you're going to get an opportunity to share your comments. And if you share your comments from this page, I'll be able to share them with the audience. Another really cool thing, get your cameras and your microphones ready. If you want to talk to our guests tonight, you can come on live with your camera and your microphone and talk to our guests here tonight. And I know they're very excited for your questions. And if you're shy, you don't want to get in front of the camera. Ladies, if your hair isn't right, I get it. That's okay. But this really works well with engagements. And when you engage with the comments, we can share your questions and your comments with our guests. They can see it and they can answer them directly with you. So we have our own live talk show. So again, welcome everybody. Um, we haven't got quite just everybody here yet, but I know we've got enough to get started. And I know there's moms and dads out there working on the fourth one. Um, I, I really, you know, timing is everything. You've heard me say it. Uh, those of you who know me say timing is everything. Recently here at Ribfest in Sarnia, I had the privilege of meeting this group called Girl Power. And what's Girl Power about? Well, of course, excuse me, there's music involved, of course. And they are a young pop rock group. But don't let their age fool you. Their talents are tremendous. And not only are their talents tremendous, but what they stand for and what they're advocating for in their own communities is really exciting. So um, I'm not going to waste any more time because really we're not here to talk about me. But I'm going to bring our first guest in here. I've got a few waiting by in the lobby. Crystal, and I'm going to start with you. And in just a moment, she will come on live. Hello, Crystal. How are you? Can you say hello to me? Hello. There we are. Am I and I saying your name right, Chrysalin? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's Bellevance or Bellevance? Bellevance, okay. You're, Bellevance. You're, Bellevance, okay. Your audio's mm -hmm. cutting out it a little bit there. So we're just we'll just keep pushing forward. Um I know you you, there, you must be one of the uh have many fans watching out there because we've got lots of people watching here tonight. So thank you. Um, where where are you? I'm in Windsor. Windsor. Okay. So you're just down the 401 from me there. Um, and how old are you? I am. Say that again. You're. Uh, you keep you cutting in and out on me to try one more time. Okay, I didn't catch that, but that's 12. okay. Twelve. Twelve, there we go. Okay. All right. Technology is a wonderful thing when it works. Bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We will get through here tonight. Um, how did you first uh, talk about Girl Power, and and uh, why did you decide to try out for Girl Power? And, and, and before that, what, what does Girl Power mean to you? I think it would be a super fun experience to try out for Girl Power because like social grow and make them stronger and um yeah cool you're um let me just uh can you tell us about you're you're advocating for i've got a long list here but uh you're you're advocating for youth homelessness correct yeah why did you choose that 
Um, it's just there's a lot of it in like Toronto. Some where I live, there's um fifty. Experiencing homelessness that are 15 to 25 in age in okay. Windsor. All right. Um, you're cutting in and, in and out a little bit there, so I see maybe mom or dad there. So what I'm going to get you to do, I'm going to take you back out and bring somebody else in. And if you could maybe refresh your screen and try to come back in, and that, that might fix things up. And, okay. and And if you could close any other programs that are running in the background, that'll help too. But we will come back to you, all right, Chrysalyn? Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. All right. We'll get back to Crystal and, and um, internet's a wonderful thing. Again, all that technology when it works great, right? But we're just going to keep going. Uh, let's say hello to some of our audience before we get to, uh, we'll talk to Azlin next coming up in just a minute, but uh, hello from Windsor. Hi, Windsor. Thanks for being here. And we've got our friend Vince who's joining us in Colorado. Thank you, Vince, for being here as well. And we've got Nitty. Wow. Will be so amazing to watch them. Can't wait. Yes. So we've got these are this is uh, big fans around here. Hi, Sue. We want to make sure we say hello to Shelly as well. And who have we got here? Candy. Such an amazing group of girls. Girl power. There's a big supporter. Thanks, Candy. Uh, Roger is here as well. And driving for us here, Don Van Dam. Uh, thanks for being here, Don. She can't wait. Looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this, as I mentioned, too, that uh, I met uh, many of these young girls at the Australian Rib Fest at Hiawatha here uh, with the Northern Heat Rib Series. They travel uh, and open up all the Saturday morning shows, and we did an interview with them, and that was really exciting. But speaking of exciting, Azalyn is sitting in the green room, and she's like, come on, get me in there. I'm ready to go. So we're going to bring her in here next. Hi, Azalyn. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, thanks for being here. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Whitby, Ontario. Whitby, Ontario. So you girls are kind of like planted all over the place here. Um, yeah. Let me ask you the question. What? How did you come across Girl Power in the first place? Well, there was auditions and we all had to sing the original song and also a song that we chose ourselves. Okay. Yeah. So what song did you choose to sing for yourself when you did your audition? I sang Your Song by Elton John. Oh, my goodness. That is like one of my all-time favorite Elton John songs. Yeah, me That's too. Great. And how old are you? I'm 10. So 10 years old, and you know that song by Elton John. Is it fair to say that maybe mom and dad have a little bit of influence on what you listen to? <laughs> um, No, I actually really like old music. I'm also a really big fan of Billie Holiday and Billie Joel. Oh, wow. Old music, folks, for those of you who are yeah. watching. <laughs> that's okay. I think that's fantastic. What is it What is it about that type of old music that, that you like? Well, I really like jazz music, and it just sounds so, you know, warm, kind of. And all of the music today is kind of all the same and poppy and auto-tune. <laughs> just kidding. Pop music sounds yeah. the same, really. No kidding. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's great, and 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 um, you must have great support, uh, you know, family support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my parents are both very hard workers, and they're amazing. I also have two brothers, and they're awesome. Oh, how old are your brothers? I have a younger one and an older one. My old my older one is fourteen, and my younger one is five. So you're in the middle there. Yeah. Some would say you're very lucky. Yes, <laughs> I'm the girl of the house. Ah, there you go. So you, you already know what you're up to. What, yeah. um, what, why do you think, like, why do you think you were able to audition? Why, what kind of skills did you bring that, that got you into girl power? Well, I feel very privileged to be, to audition for girl power. I started vocal lessons and piano when I was five and I taught myself how to play the ukulele from the internet. I did dance for two years. I did musical theater for three years. And I sing at seniors' homes sometimes. So basically, if there's a group of people that would listen to me sing, I would sing. <laughs> so whoever's willing to listen, right? That's good. Yeah. Do you uh, is this is this something uh, you know? I mean, you're quite young, but it's it's okay yeah. to start thinking about what you want to do. Is this something you'd want to do for a career and make a living? Yes, at? I would. I've always dreamed ever since I was little. Before I could even talk, I was singing notes, and I started a dream 
very young to be be a solo artist when I grow up. Well, I would say you're you're starting on the right track, and it sounds uh, uh, you're you're fun to talk to, and that's that's a skill already to have there. What's Thank you. uh You're welcome. What's your um, what else about girl power? I mean, there's some advocacy going on. There's some community things that all you girls support. What is it that you're supporting? My social cause to girl power. My social cause is health is wealth. But what exactly is health? I get asked that question a lot. That word has many different meanings and categories. But when I think about health, I think about things such as eating healthier, exercise, well-being, sleeping habits, product use, and screen time. Yeah. Wow, you, you've uh, you've really put a lot of thought into that. Um, yes. What? Why? Why that? I mean, there's there's so many causes. You know, uh, Crystalyn talked about youth homelessness, and there's mental health, and there's there's a whole bunch of different things you could support. And I'm sure you probably support many different things. But why this in particular for you? Well, my, my, both of my great aunts both sadly passed from cancer within a year of each other. Uh, and ever since then, I've been very careful about what I'm eating, what kind of health. And I've always been interested in the human body. Yeah. So this was kind of a personal uh, uh, story for you to uh, to go that direction. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a um, I mean, you're you're singing and you're dancing and I know you like the old music. <laughs> I love that term, old music. Um, is there but is there any modern pop music that you enjoy as well? Yes, I. I like some of the music that's on the radio. I like Ed Sheeran, John Mendes, Charlie Puth. I like, I love Alessia Cara. Yeah. Okay. If you could meet anybody uh, in, in that, one of those singers, which one would you like to meet? Well, probably one of the Canadian artists, John Mendes or Alessia Cara. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something. Um, tell me something else about you and then tell me uh, some more about, uh, girl power and, and plans for the future with girl power. Well, we're recording our original songs in the studio. We just did them a few months ago. Well, actually last month. And, and we're hoping that we can, we're going to post it. We're going to post it on YouTube and let out the album soon. We don't, we recorded some cover songs as well. Right. And, yes. and, and the, and you're touring with girl power right now. Um, so that, that means a lot of traveling and maybe some time from home. How do you deal with that? Yeah. Well, I still, we still get to spend time together, but it's a lot of, we go to rehearsal three times a week and we have to go to group vocal lessons as well. And there's right. shows throughout the week and also on the weekends. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining me here. Don't go away. Okay. Um, uh, we'll we'll try to bring you back. We've we've got a whole bunch of people in here. I think we're going to move on to Karina now. We're going to okay. Thank you. Time. Okay. Thank you, Aslan. Thank you for your time. All right. Stay with us. Can you feel the power already? Um, yes. And you, she's cheering here in the green room. I wish I could have showed you that. She, you did a fantastic job, Aslan. You stay with us. And Vincent says really well spoken. Uh, you know, one of the things that I learned about girl power very quickly when I met them was that their leader, Don Van Dam, who um, I don't know if she's going to try to come on later. She's, she wants to give the girls uh, uh, all their spotlight. But there's a lot of leadership going on here for these ladies. And, of course, with the moms and the dads and the families, that's great. But Don has been a, a driving force of girl power. And uh, when I talk to the girls at RibFest, they, they refer to her like another mom, right, or so they really look up to her. And I think obvious, that, that show is obvious. And my friend from Colorado, Vince, says he feels the power. Thanks, Vince, for being here. And if you've got any questions that you would like to uh, have the girls answer, please post them down here below. And uh, right now, Karina, I think if you're ready, we're going to come over to you. And let's see if we can get her in here. Hello, Karina. Karina, can you hear us? Hello? Karina, can you hear us? It says I'm live, but... Okay, I don't think she's quite ready there. Karina, if you can hear me, uh, nod your nod your head there. We'll, we'll come back. But, uh, wow, boy, I, I don't know how Don keeps track of them all. Who are we going to next? Mel Melina, can we come to you? Are you ready for us? She's sitting a little taller. She knows she's coming online here. Hello, Milana. Hi. 
Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Am I saying your name right? It's Milana? Milana. Milana. I never know how to go A or A. Okay, so Milana. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. 12 years old. So it's, it's real. It's a, it's what, ages 10 to 15 are involved with this? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. And whereabouts are you calling in from? I'm from beautiful Niagara Falls, Ontario. Luckily, <laughs> she says that with a big smile. That's a That must be kind of a neat place to live. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. What, um, how did you discover Girl Power? Well, actually, Girl Power was on an online audition. And then I tried out, and I made the first audition, then the second, and now I'm here. Wow, that you gotta you gotta be feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. Yeah. What? Um. What? Why? Why girl power? Like, I mean, you know, you could go sing anywhere, right? You know, or there's a lot of places to go sing. But what was it about girl power? Well, I love the message that girl power meant was that girls can do anything as long as they believe in themselves and that they're unstoppable. Yeah, so that that really attracted you like that, eh? That that thought yeah. of of that positive and and boys boys too, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but th there is something extra special about girl power. Mm -hmm. What what would you say um <clears throat> Oh, I lost my Look at that. I wasn't prepared. Um Oh, yes. What so what what kind of training uh, did you have any training before Girl Power, or did you just wake up and start singing, or, or what? What were your special skills coming from? Well, I actually take singing lessons. Okay. And I also take violin and piano when I was three and a half, and I also take competitive dance lessons. Oh wow! And I also take uh, exams, which is music tests, and Kiwanis, which is a competition for music. Okay, and. Uh, so you have like multi talents then, which is which is really in your favor. It's better than to just do. You, do you have do you like one over the other, singing or dancing, or or do you just like them all together? Well, they're all like a good combination because like when you sing, you have to dance, and like when you sing, you have like piano you can play or violin, which is unique as well. And I love them all. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Um, what? What kind of influences, what kind of music do you like? You know, I heard uh, somebody say older music, but uh, do you have a preference of music style? I really like pop because it's really exciting. And it's just really exciting. And I love, like, dancing to, like, upbeat music as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you just, like, you can just do it anywhere. You just sing, dance wherever. You just, like, even if there's nobody around, do you sing and dance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What about uh, tell us tell us a little bit more about you, the personal side, uh, the brothers, sisters. Um, I actually have two sisters. All right. One's named Juliana, and one's name is Ivana. Ivana is eight years old, and Juliana is fourteen years old. And we also all play the same instruments and sing as well. Nice. So it's it's kind of a family thing for you as well. But you you got into girl power, and what would you say? Um, to maybe if there's other people your age or around your age who are watching, um, how they could, if they're, you know, cause some people are shy, right? Were you ever shy or were you always just outgoing? Well, when I was younger, I was shy, but then like, as soon as I started singing, I just had like, I was just believing in myself that I can do anything. I think that that's a, uh, a big part of what girl power is, right. Is the positive side of things. You mentioned that a little bit earlier. Um, so do you think something like girl power could, could help a lot of other young people then? Yes, because even in our song lyrics is about inspiring others to do the very best. And our song lyrics is about that. We can do anything as long as we work together as well. I think, I think that's so awesome that you're you're all saying the same thing, but in, in in your own words, and you know, so it's obvious. So, girl power has obviously helped you, um, you know, stay positive and and support others. Um, how do you feel when you're up on stage? So, when you're performing, do you feel like a, like you're doing more than just performing? Do you feel like you're maybe helping other people? Yes, because whenever I sing or perform. 
I just see people have like smiles on their faces. That makes me really happy inside because if I'm singing, it makes other people happy. Well, what a fantastic way to live life too. If you can be happy and make other people happy at the same time, right? Yes. <laughs> what uh, do you have? Is this a career that you want to pursue, or or is this, or do you have other goals for going to school, or what? I guess the question: uh, What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I would love to be a singer too, because that's my passion. But if I like, wasn't a singer, I would love to be a singing vet. <laughs> Because I love animals and I love to sing as well. Oh, sorry, you said you love to be a vet? A singing vet. Oh, a singing vet. I don't think I've ever heard of a singing vet. What would that what would that what would that look like? Well, like helping animals and like singing to them as well. Singing to the animals. You giggle when you say that, but I I, the, I think that's a really neat idea. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So do you have do you have pets yourself? No, I wish so. Oh, I love is, animals. Is mom and dad listening in the background? <laughs> yes. And my, I always wanted a dog, but my dad's allergic. So he doesn't want one. So. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, we have a, a friend of mine from Colorado, Vincent, says she should listen to the album Pet Sounds. Have you ever heard of the Beach Boys? Yes. Yeah, okay. Mom and dad and, and anybody else listening, uh, who's old enough <laughs> would know what that's about. You definitely should look into that. Thanks, Vincent, for that. Milana, uh, thank you so much for your time, but stick around if you would. We'll, we'll try to bring it back. I'm, I'm trying to make the rounds and get here to everybody. Uh, but just before you do go, um, what's, your, what's your social cause? My social cause is mental health, awareness, and youth. And some children are just shy to talk about their feelings or embarrassed. But I want them to know that they're not alone, and there are a lot of people that can help them to change their lives. Right. And um, do, do, have you experienced, uh, like at school, um, some people struggling with that mental health? Yes. Um, some people, like, get bullied, and then they get really depressed. And we also talk about mental health in school as well. Fantastic. I'm so glad to have met you and, and, and all that we uh, are going to have on here tonight. So I'm going to put you back into the lobby, Milan, and stay with us, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> and she rocked it out there, Milana. Let's give her a round of applause. Uh, Karina, I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, we're going to try to bring Karina in here and cross our fingers, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want to leave anybody out. We've got so many people watching here. Karina, Hi. can you hear me? Can you, can I don't you hear, hear me? anything, so. Okay. You can't hear me? And I have earbuds. Can they hear me? I can hear you. They can hear her. They can hear you. But you can't hear me? Bear with us, folks. Go to the link to watch it and at, at the same time listen and watch. Yeah. Um, we, we can hear you. I don't have two devices to watch. Thank you. Nine. Okay, we're going to try to come back there. They try to figure it out. Maybe uh, uh, I think Molina and her family are trying to help out there. So Karina, stay with us, and we'll work on you again. Chrysalin is back. Let's see if we can get her uh, and get things working a little bit. Hello again, Chrysalin. Hi. Hey, that's sounding a little bit better. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm – I got to tell you, uh, I'm feeling the love here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like girl power is something special right now, and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. And uh, you got to feel pretty good about being a part of something special like that. Yes, it's amazing. And I love being with all the girls. And we've grown so much since we first started. And now we're like best friends. It feels like yeah. we've known each other forever. <laughs> now, when you say grown, like you've grown together as friends, but how would you say you've grown like well, as a person? Since our first performance at the Young and Dundas, um, Young and Dundas Rib Fest, we only had eight songs and now we are at 24. So, and we've added dance moves and all of that. Wow. 
And do you guys, do you get to like Don obviously does a lot of the teaching and directing, but um, do you, do you guys have input on what you guys think about, you know, what the dance should look like or the songs? Yes, we do. So like the dance of the, the dancers of the group kind of uh, put together the dances and um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so there's a lot of teamwork going on. Yes, definitely. All right. Now I'm going to ask a question that, uh, that maybe isn't on here. So I'm not trying to throw you off, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody's happy and getting along, but, uh, do you guys ever like have problems with each other and you got to kind of work that out? Not really, to be honest. No, that's fantastic. Well, I'm glad you're being honest. And the only reason I asked that question is because I would think that from what I'm hearing from everybody involved in the leadership that Don's, uh, taught you guys is, to, to you know, you're you're gonna have problems once in a while, right? And it's just a matter of how you how you uh, how you figure it out. What's what's Dawn, your leader, been like for you in your life? Um, she has pretty much sent us like all the emails to get where we are today and um, to put in our work. And um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go back to um, so so you really you you're really glad that she came along in your life and oh, yes. you must think a lot of her right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to what we tried to talk about when we first had you on and and you talked about youth homelessness. Mm -hmm. That's what you that's what you like to promote in your community. Why did you pick that? It's just I think it's a really good social cause because there are so many people out there that don't have a home to sleep in at all. And, um, sometimes like they could be like couch surfing and that means like they'll be staying at like a friend's house or a family member's house, but they really don't have like a home on their own. So. Right. And, uh, there's a lot more people than we think. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm glad you said that because I think it's, uh, I know where I live, there's a, there's a problem, but mm -hmm. we don't really see it, see it on the streets. It's like you yeah. said, it's, it's more like uh, what do they, they call that couch surfing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you, and how, I'm sorry, how old are you again? 12. Okay. So, um, I'm old. What grade is that? Grade seven. <laughs> grade seven. Okay. So do you know some people at your school that are going through that? Um, I don't know anybody personally. Okay. So. All right, but you've seen it, and I, I guess what I'm getting at is what made you decide to go that direction? I don't know. I just think I would really like to help out. Like, So, like, I'm um, a youth advocate in Windsor for um, youth homelessness, so I just think it's a, a really good cause to help out and right. help, them help make a difference, yeah. Help making a difference. That's yeah. That's, I have to tell you, you know, and, and maybe you won't understand until you get a little bit older, but when you're my age and you're, you're talking with people your age who are, um, sounding, talking very mature and very positive and you're very confident, um, that's, you should, I hope you should be very proud of that. I'm sure mom and dad and family is, but. Um, and you don't really know me, but I'm proud of you and, and, and all the girls who are being positive because um, I think we need to see more of that in our communities. So um, good for you for doing that. Now, when you say you're an advocate in your community, so do you go out and do things in your community to to help uh, create awareness for youth homelessness? What kind of thing? Um, so I, uh, I've just started kind of like this year. So um, Girl Power performed at my school this year and we got to say like our social causes and so I said mine and like just tried to show the kids at my school like what it is, you know. Yeah. And and maybe give them an opportunity to say, you know, you can you can do anything you want, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about being here today on this show and, and being interviewed? I think it's amazing. Like I've never done anything like this before. Um, I've been on the radio with um, Girl Power before, but I haven't really like done like a kind of like a talk show like this. Yeah, so feeling kind of cool right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You're allowed to feel cool, and um, it's amazing. We've got so many people watching out here right now, and uh, for those of you who are watching, if you would like to join the broadcast, I've put a link um, on our Facebook page. You have to come to our Facebook page. 
uh, on the Video Show Network so we can see your comments. And we've got so many here. Let's see if I can share some more. There's uh, Melissa Haggerty. Do you know any of these people, Melissa? Or Melissa Robinson says, totally awesome. That's my aunt. Melissa Robinson? Yes. You want to, do you want to give a shout-out to her? Yes, shout-out to you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and who else we got here? Um, oh, my goodness. I can't keep up. I'm going to have to have you girls back. Ratings are up, folks. I'm going to have to have them back every week. Uh, Chris Lynn, thanks for talking with us. Stand by again. We're going to try to, uh, we'll, we'll try to get back to you again. We're going to try to get Karina in here again. Thank you. Karina, I don't know if you can hear me. So let's try again. Fingers crossed, everybody. Hi, Karina. Can you hear me? So oh, I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. So I'm not sure what's happening. Hi, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry. Um, maybe uh, Melina, maybe you, you want to try to have mom and dad try to keep helping her out because we can see her. But I, I'm sorry, Melina or uh, Karina, I, I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I have to take you out. Um, wow, folks, uh, it really is. I know some people are saying hello there to Karina. Hi, Candy. I'm uh, feeling bad that we we can't get any sound out of her there, but uh, we'll keep trying. We've got lots of time, so if uh, somebody who is watching knows Karina and maybe try to help her with her settings or something, uh, I would love to talk to her. And Candy says, great job, girls. We are so proud of you. And who else we got here? Lori, hello, Barbie. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Uh, Amanda Fowler, who's that? There we go. You'll reach the stars. You've come so far already. That's fantastic. And, you know, uh, I'm sure for those of you watching who uh, know the girls that we've spoken to here, um, have, I'm sure, seen some growth in these ladies. You can just tell by the way they're talking uh, and they're excited. And isn't it great to see something like this, not just in our communities, but in our youth community? Uh, I think it's really fantastic, and I, I'm so glad uh, that I, I've, I've come across this group. So let me see. How do I decide who to bring back next? <laughs> uh, let's go back to Azalyn. She's smiling. Don't worry. We'll get back to all of you. <laughs> Hello, Azalyn again. Hello. You're, like, so excited, and, and, and along with my um, – uh, Milana there too. Milana. Sorry, Milana. I got that. Um, you guys are just smiling and you're so excited. Thank you. Do you see yourself? Uh, where do you see uh, girl power? For Sorry, how old are you again? I'm 10. You're 10. So do you see yourself being with girl power like for the next five years? Yes. Yeah? I definitely want to be with girl power because... It's just to be heard by so many people around the world, and I get to spread my message on to other people, and they get to spread it on. They get to spread it on to others. Right, right. What about past girl power? Like when you turn sixteen? Well, I just had this dream of being the first ever under sixteen-year-old that's a solo artist on the radio. Oh, okay, all yes. right. And would you be willing to like? travel the world to do that yeah so i yeah. would i'd love going on a world tour and for everybody to know my name <laughs> nothing wrong with dreaming big what uh let me ask you about don and I, I do see a comment there from don and, and i don't know why uh apparently everybody can hear karina but i can't hear for some reason and it, it doesn't make sense because i can hear, hear anybody else so I, I apologize. I, there's nothing more I can do at my end. We, if if she comes back in and maybe with a refresh and we try that again, sometimes that works. So uh, let's encourage Karina to come back in and join us. Um, okay. What do you, Azalyn, what do you, what do you think is, I mean, every girl and girl power uh, together as a team makes some really cool things happen, but everybody's got their own unique uniqueness about them. What's unique about you? What do you, what, what do you bring to girl power? Well, my unique contribution to girl power, Yeah. since I'm the youngest, I not only want to be a good role model, but I feel like I'm representing all the girls my age. And I know that it's hard sometimes for younger girls to be heard and respected. So I want to model a strong young girl for them who has girl power. 
Right. It's so hard as all the other girls. And I just, I just want other little girls to know that they can do it too. That's fantastic. And were you shy when you started? Like, would you say that you've gotten uh, not as shy as when you first started? First ever vocal teacher. We had open mics and stuff, and I was never shy. I was always, if I could be on stage, I was on stage and I was shining. <laughs> All right. So you just, you just, the world's a stage for you then. Yeah. Definitely. What's, uh, when you're on tour, some funny things probably happen while you're on tour. What's one of the craziest things that's happened while you're on tour with Girl Power? The craziest thing that happened on tour was at Toronto Youth. Youth Day Toronto 2017. We got to meet amazing Canadian artists such as Amoy and Blessed. And we got to sing O Canada in the opening parade. And we even got to dance live with Blessed, a Juno winning Canadian reggae artist. Wow. It was a great time. What impressed yeah. me most was that all of the stars were really generous with their time with us. Yeah, they, they didn't like hurry you along or they made you feel pretty yeah. special. Yes. Yeah. Even Amoy said that we were so, that she was. She said that we were so inspiring that we started our passion so young. Yeah, well, I mean, I I agree, and and I'm sure moms and dads and family agree that uh, whatever, just do whatever, whatever your passion and your love is, just do that, right? And I I think um, you know my opinion anyway is I think sometimes we put too much pressure on people to uh, make a lot of money, right? Yeah. And I've always found that uh, if you just do what you love and you're passionate about that, yes. the money will come along. It'll show up later. So um, that's my little coaching for you. Speaking of coaching, um, aside from Dawn, do you get do you get some advice from people around you? What kind of things like would mom and dad say to coach you in life? Well, I always. I have to work really hard because this much of my life I have a child and this much of my life I have as an, as an adult. So if I work hard for this amount, then I can play for this amount. But if I play for this amount, then I have to work hard for this amount. Wow. I want to, I'm going to write that down. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. What, what, um, when, when you guys write a song, like let, let's talk a little, we haven't really talked about uh, the girl power original song. What's that called? Chrissy. Okay. And what's what's Chrissy about? Well, Chrissy is the mean girl. She's popular. She's living life in her head. And her whole life is empty and aimless. But on the inside, she's really insecure. Yeah. So if you could, uh, do you know anybody around you, like at school maybe, that is like a Chrissy? Well, I'm actually homeschooled. So I, I, I have school with my brother and my mom teaches us. Oh, so I don't really have anybody like that. Yeah, okay. Is that have you always been homeschooled? Yes. Okay. So now you have other friends then that go to school as well or yes, how does that work? Yeah. Yes. So do you feel yeah, pretty lucky to be able to be homeschooled? Yeah. Yeah, why is that? Well we we have to do much work as the kids at school do, but we get to sleep in. <laughs> I love your honesty. That's fantastic. We get to sleep in. That's mm. why I love about being. Is, go ahead. It's a good. It's a good thing about being homeschooled. Have a gig for Girl Power in the morning. I can go. I can do it. I can do the gig, and then I can come back home, and then I can actually do my school. Because you can't go to school at seven o'clock. Say, hey, can I? Can I have a class? Right. Right. Gotcha. Well, I, I kind of know how you feel because uh, I'm self-employed, right? I, I work for myself, and I get to sleep in when I want to. But it's also, you know, you've got to be disciplined, right? Yes. Yeah? Do you, like, like I don't have a boss telling me what to do, so if I don't do it, I don't get fired, but nothing happens. Do you, do you ever find it hard sometimes to, because you're at home, or is, or is mom, is, is it mom that teaches you? Well, we have school books and we also we, we write we have in math and science and all of our things in books so we write that down my mom usually has to help with my little brother cuz he's still learning he's learning how to write and read right now okay all right yeah. how are you feeling about are you pretty excited about being on this show here too was this like something you were looking forward to over yes. the last few days mm -hmm. i i really 
I always feel amazed to get Girl Power's name out there because we really want to spread the message that, that girls can do whatever if they pick up their heart and hard work. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Um, and um, if if you couldn't do, I know you want to be a, a singer and everything, and I think that's great, and I, I really have no doubt you will, but if for some if there was a second choice career, what would that be? As I said, I'm really interested about the human body, so yeah. I'd probably be a scientist about the human body. I really like that. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Thank so you. So you're, you're really smart, too, then. Yes. <laughs> What uh, what do you do when you're is if it's not girl power? Like, is it all girl power in your life, or what? What do you do? Any other things for fun? No, I do other things as well. I I I um I play the piano and the ukulele and the electric guitar. I also oh. play the acoustic because if you play the electric, you can play the acoustic as well. Although they're they're very different. Yeah, right. and I love playing piano. I feel like with instruments, you can get all of your emotion out with it. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a way for you to, yeah. to express yourself and yeah. tell others how you're feeling inside. I'm also an activist. Like I yes. told you about my health, health speech, I do speeches around. Yeah, so, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, where are you again? Whitby, Ontario. Oh, yes, Whitby. So do you go out in to the... Uh, uh, community and talk. Yeah, I do. So where where do you do that? Other schools or? Yeah. Okay. I just started becoming an activist, so I haven't done that many things. I I did my speech for for the band and some adults, and also to health professionalists from the elite. Yes. Wow, you're doing some pretty fantastic things. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, Vince has a question for you. Who is your favorite electric guitar player? I really like the player that's in Queen. Sorry. Oh, the guitar player in Queen. Okay. Um, and, yeah. Do you have a favorite song by Queen? I like Bohemian Rhapsody, and I also, yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. I love They're amazing. Yeah, okay. Have you ever seen the movie Wayne's World? No. Okay. Ask mom and dad about Wayne's World and you okay. will you will love Bohemian Rhapsody even more. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us again, Aslan. I'm going to put you back in the lobby and hopefully uh thank you very okay. much for being here. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay with us. Okay, uh Karina, if you can hear me, we're going to try again. Let's see if uh, we can get her attention. Trying again. All right, I can hear you. Mom, I'm live. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me, Karina? Hi. Let me um, put my headphones into the phone then so I can hear you. Sure. To the phone. We're crossing our fingers. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Karina, can you hear me? Hello? Hi. I can hear you over the phone, yes. Okay, great. So we're 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 trying to figure this out. I, I know it's been a little frustrating. I can hear you over the phone. That'll work. So what it's is it very about it's very delayed? It's very delayed over the phone. Okay, we'll try it. What's your favorite part about Girl Power? Yeah, my mic is turned on, so. My favorite part about Girl Power is that um, it's an outlet for me for singing and dancing. And not only that, it's kind of like, um, you know, when I'm stressed out, I get really excited that I can see my friends at rehearsals. And I just love performing. So when I'm able to go to a performance on a weekend, um, I'm really excited about that. That's fantastic. And uh, 
of course, you have a social cause as well, and that's Give Peace a Chance. Can you tell people a little more about what that is for you? Yeah. Yeah, my social cause is anti-war and the Give Peace a Chance movement. And I really just want to um, inspire not only young girls, but youth in general to um, take part in things in their community. Um, and that can start in the classroom or, you know, just like at their school or at any extracurricular activities, just spreading positivity and, um, you know, a positive message to all their friends and family. Because a lot of young people think that they can't make a difference, but really every little thing, every little step counts. And um, we're always one step closer with every act of kindness. That's fantastic that, that you're able to share that. And uh, Karina, how old are you? I'm 15 years old. Oh, okay. And uh, we have a question here from Vincent from Colorado. He wants to know, what have you learned from the other girls' causes uh, that you didn't know before? Okay. Um, I have learned a lot, actually, from the other girls' causes, just by them um, doing something as simple as posting on social media um, different um, varieties of inspirational quotes. Um I've really just learned that um, confidence is definitely key because uh, some of our social causes um, in the group involve bullying, uh, one specifically is cyberbullying. And so if girls just learn to be confident in themselves and not listen to the hate or anyone who's trying to tell you what to do, then you will rise up and you'll be able to follow your dreams if you kind of just don't let those people in your life who are trying to bring you down bother you. You have a fantastic uh, outlook, as as all the girls that I've spoken to here here do. And um, you must feel, uh, would you say that girl power has helped you grow as a person then? Thank you. You're welcome. I actually do uh, say that girl power has helped me kind of change and grow as a person because even though we haven't been together for um, that long yet, I've learned from all the girls in the group just, you know, how to better collaborate with others when uh, working on, you know, like harmonies, for example, in songs or choreography, Um, because that wasn't something that I did too much of prior to Girl Power. I more so was the one to learn the choreography because I'm a competitive dancer. So I wouldn't have necessarily too much say into um, exactly what movement I'm doing. But I would say it's helped me grow um, as sort of a choreographer for the group because I do help put in my input and my choreography into some of our songs that we do in our set. That's fantastic. So you you, you kind of just answered my next question about, you know, your uniqueness that you bring to the group. Um, So you're one of the older, uh, probably one of the oldest in the group. So do you tend to uh, use your experience as a 15-year-old to help the younger ones uh, move forward with whatever obstacles they might have? Yeah, I do definitely try my best to use, you know, the experience that I have from just being performing um, for so long. I started dancing and singing when I was two. Um, I did my first song and dance solo when I was four. So I definitely use experience from, you know, being on whether it's like a large stage or, you know, a smaller stage at a festival and kind of like sharing my knowledge of that kind of stuff with the younger kids because um, I just think that, kind of no matter um, because, you know, you have to sort of start smaller to reach bigger things and chasing your dreams. And so we just really need to aim to do our best. And I think if I can help sort of the younger kids see that, that, you know, every little thing matters, then um, we're all going to succeed and girl power is going to go very far. 
Well, I think that's fantastic that you do that. And, and you know, it shows that uh, all of you have learned from, from Don and just your life experiences. And no matter what you do in life, it sounds like girl power will always be a part of your life that you'll, you'll, you'll keep there forever. Is What do you see beyond girl power when you, you know, when you're 18, 19, 20 years old? Yeah, for sure. Um, beyond girl power, you know, as I mentioned before, I am interested in choreography and, um, but not necessarily just uh, dance specifically. Um, I've always kind of seen myself maybe like producing um, maybe like a show or even a musical and doing choreography for that, like a play or something along the lines of that. Um, I just really want to kind of help younger people when I'm older um, reach their full potential in the arts. So I do see myself kind of going down that path of, you know, arts and music and dance. That's fantastic. You can tell that you're really passionate about it. Um, aside from girl power, can you tell us something else about yourself? Uh, you know, what else do you do for fun with your friends? Yeah, so um, I have a lot of friends from school and dance because I'm a part of a lot of clubs. Like at school, I'm in like three choirs. There's like a grade choir, a concert choir, and a show choir. So I tend to be friends with the people that kind of are part of the same things and do the same things that I do. I like, uh, I enjoy going to the mall with my friends, you know, like on a weekend or something when I have like time off of dance, of course. Um, or, you know, like just hanging out, going out for lunch for some time. Um, I love Jimmy the Greek, so sometimes I'll go to the mall and have Jimmy the Greek with one of my friends. Um, a few other things that I do kind of, uh, you know, just to keep up with being able to do some more musical things is uh, I can accompany myself with piano and guitar. So I am pretty regularly practicing that. Um, but, yeah, pretty much when I'm not at dance or at school or doing something um, girl power related, like at a rehearsal performance, I'm kind of just um, trying to better myself or if not, just having some fun with friends. Yeah, that's fantastic. And uh, family, family is obviously a part of your life to, to support you in this. What kind of things have uh, family done to, uh, you know, help you get along with girl power and, you know, there's obstacles in life. Uh, family's been pretty supportive though. Yeah, um, my family is definitely very supportive of me. I live with my mom, my dad, and my brother, and they all are constantly coming to shows and um, not only coming to shows to support me, but all the behind the scenes things. Like my mom um, always helps me get ready for shows, you know, like what to wear, how to do my hair, kind of those kinds of things. Any like props that I would need for, you know, like a dance, for example. And my dad's actually a full-time musician, so he's a guitar teacher and a vocal teacher, so he helps me with that. He actually trains me in um, classical pop and vocal teaching, and um, he, um, he uh, you know, like, teaches me guitar and piano as well. Um, and, yeah, they're just, my family is so supportive of me. My aunt and uncle, whenever I don't have a ride to, you know, a performance or a rehearsal, they are always there to step in to take me, so... Well, that's fantastic. And uh, so I, you sort of answered my next question, who's your influence? It certainly sounds like dad's definitely in there with, with the music side of things. But when it comes to uh, a favorite singer, who would you say you sound like? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say my sound uh, personally is kind of similar to Ariana Grande because we have a, like I t tend to go towards an R&B pop style. Uh, I really love all her songs. I think she's an amazing artist, but not only is she um, an amazing artist and a great singer, she is a very good performer. I think she has a lot of charisma and she looks amazing on stage. I love her fashion and just her style. And I think she's a great influence for young girls like myself. Well, that's fantastic, and uh, I'm proud of you for. I know, I know, we just just met, but uh, I'm proud of you and all the girls for 
what you've accomplished and the things you're going to accomplish. And what a great positive philosophy uh, you, you have. Obviously, the people around you have, have helped you, you with that. Thank you so much for your patience to finally uh, – and, and whoever thought of the phone thing, that's awesome. <laughs> We're so glad that we could get you on here. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Karina. Uh, I'm, I'm glad somebody thought of that because I was feeling pretty bad that we were having trouble getting her on here. So um, she had her, her moment there to talk. And Girl Power is uh, who we're talking to. And there's about 14 to 15 of them, but we I think I, I could be uh, incorrect. Um, who do we have out here? Barbie says, go Girl Power. Great role models, human power. You know, what's fantastic about what we're seeing here, and I'm sure you would all agree, is Everything's positive here. And I feel pretty good talking to these young ladies, knowing that not just in one community, but all over, they're, they're making a difference. They're supporting each other. Uh, they're happy. It's just a good feeling because I think sometimes we worry about the future of our children and our communities. So uh, I'm hearing a lot of hope out there as well, which is fantastic. So moms and dads and Don Van Dam. Um, you guys deserve a round of applause as well because it all comes from somewhere. And it's not easy being a mom and dad for sure. When you talk about all the different things out there, you know, the cyberbullying to, well, I don't have to list them. You guys know your parents. So congratulations to you all as well. 13 girls in the band. Thank you, Leanna, for sharing that. And these, here we go. Candy says, these girls are the sweetest, most kind-hearted girls and the talent is incredible along with being such great role models and candy i couldn't agree with you more and uh it's an emo this is an emotional show i i take it very personally about who's on the show and i don't just pick anybody and i'm gonna go back and one of the great things about having my own show even though it's a one hour show i can go two hours if i want nobody's here telling me what to do we're not going to do two hours but um what i would like to do is go back to a couple of the girls and I, uh, Don, would welcome, you know, maybe next month we have some of the other girls on here and give everybody a chance because I, I, I don't think we could get too much of girl power. Azalyn, I'm coming back to you. Okay. All right. So one more time to have you here, and I'm going to go back to um, Milana and uh, Chrysalyn as well. Okay. If you had one more thing, you get, I'll give you one minute here. If you, if there was one more thing that you wanted to talk about or say to the people watching here tonight, anything at all, what, what do you want to say? Uh, well, maybe I could have some questions. Yeah. Okay. From, somebody from somebody, the comments, maybe. Somebody got a question for uh, Azalyn. Such hard. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. So proud of all you girls, and here's one from. Do you know this? Who Lauren is? No. Such hardworking girls who put their heart and soul. Couldn't agree with you more. Fantastic. Paula. That's you our good vocal coach, Miss Paula Griffith. Oh, okay. These girls are yeah. heroes. Hello, Paula, vocal coach. Fantastic. Yeah. You've got a lot of fans out there. Okay. Um, here's a question. Then you can try this and and. Uh, Chris Lynn, uh, we'll come to you uh, next, and uh, Mil Mil Milana. I'll get it right. <laughs> uh, here's a question. Vince says, how do you want to expand the reach of the group? Well, I'm hoping that we can go on a world tour because we're touring Ontario right now, but we want to go to all over North America, to Europe maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's – I. you know what? I can I can see it in the future, that's for sure. Yes. Azalyn, thank you one more time so much okay. for joining us here. And I wish you thank all the you so best. Much. You're welcome. And we're connected on Facebook, uh, ladies. So feel free to, uh, and if you haven't, please do that because I want to see what you ladies are up to and, and have you back. So, Azalyn, thank you so much. And thank you thank to your, you for family your time. You're welcome. Bye for now. All right. Uh, I don't remember who I said was going to be next, but we're going to Milana. <laughs> <laughs> and Crystal and we'll come back to you in a moment as well. Thank you all so much, everybody, for watching us here tonight and uh, taking part in my show live with David. 
Um, I do go live every Tuesday night at eight o'clock Eastern, and it's always a positive show. Uh, sometimes we 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 border that, but uh, we always try to keep it as positive as we can. And I would welcome you to uh, program that into your phones eight o'clock Eastern here on the Video Show Network. And welcome back once again. Hi. Hi, Milana. Um, let me ask you sort of the same question. You know, we've talked about a lot of things here. And, you know, everything's been positive and wonderful. You young ladies are fantastic, amazing. Uh, one more chance to say whatever you want to say um, to the audience. Talk about whatever you want. What's that going to be? Well, I just want people to know to never give up because if you try hard, then you'll just succeed. And if you're from here, just go all the way up to here because – I tried my best and I believed in myself and look where I am now. I'm in girl power and I'm so happy that I'm here today because it's been a, such a great experience. Well, I think you said it very, very well. And there's no doubt in my mind that you're, you and the, the rest of girl power are going to keep doing uh, wonderful things. So uh, you're welcome to be here. Thank you for uh, sharing your positive message and, and go for your causes and whatever. Uh, keep surrounding yourself with the right people. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And oh, sorry. Let's bring her back. And sorry. I also wanted Go to ahead. give a shout out to yeah. my singing teachers, Lauren Gasparini and Paula Griffith. And I want them to know I wouldn't be here without them today. Oh, okay. Well, Lauren, well, while we got you back here, Lauren says, what is your favorite part of being in Girl Power? Um, my favorite part of being in girl power is that I love spending time with the girls and sharing my passion with them. And I also love um, meeting new people throughout this whole journey. I, I, that's a very sincere answer. That's wonderful. Okay. Thank you once again, Milana, for being here. And we really enjoyed your company. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye for now. I, I'm almost going to have trouble uh, saying goodbye to this show because it's just been so awesome. And you are an amazing audience as well, and I mean that. And let's uh, crystal in one more time. There she is, smiling and ready. Hello. <laughs> thank you so much again for uh, being here again, crystal and, and make sure you thank, thank you. your your family for uh, giving us your time here. Uh, we are, you're, you're the last one I get to talk to and, and you get to your final 60 seconds as well as to, uh, what do you want to say to everybody? Um, well, I want to say thank you to you for having girl power on the show today because it was so much fun and everybody for watching. Um, thank you. You're very, very welcome. And. Keep following your dreams and uh, dream big. Sorry. You kind of cut out for a minute. I said thank, thank you again for being here and, and dream big. It's happening. It's kind of cutting out a little bit. All right. We'll say bye for now. Thank you Sorry. for being here. That's okay. All right. Wow, uh, pretty powerful stuff happening here, and and that's why uh, I do this show. I like to share the positive stuff that's in the world because there is a lot of it out there, believe it or not. And if this is what the future is looking like in our communities with just these four young ladies and uh, the rest, I can't wait to have some more members of Girl Power back here. So they're all still sitting here in the lobby. So uh, thank you, all of you wonderful young ladies, for being here tonight. You were all uh, very professional and you're very passionate and you're happy and smiling. And I'm sure you just made so many people's days just by sharing your, uh, your happiness and love here tonight. So I hope you're very proud of yourselves because you should be. So thank you all for being here and thanks all of you from wherever you are. We've got Vincent from Colorado. We've got Toronto. We've got Windsor. We've got people, all over the place, uh, and there is no group like Girl Power. I agree, uh, Paula. I don't think I can remember anything like this. Uh, maybe the guys will get out there, too, and we'll get some boy power going, and maybe we'll have uh, some fun on stage with that. Uh, I think it would be neat to uh, 
see these girls perform again. And I do a youth talent showcase a couple times a year here in Sarnia. And we're looking at putting on a big one. So maybe we can talk you guys to uh, come back to Sarnia and perform for us. Oh, Candy, thank you for sharing that. Let's see. Uh, are they performing this weekend at the Western Fair, plus more shows. Thank you, Candy, for sharing that. And uh, let's tell everybody, here's where you go. Um, whoops, wrong one. I'm producing or I'm trying to produce all at the same time. <laughs> I can't afford my own producer yet. There it is, girlpower.com. Make sure you go check them out online. Find out their shows coming to a city near you and meet them and encourage them. And uh, um, Don, if you're still out there and you're listening, thank you so much for putting this together. I know it was a little bit last minute, but it was so worth it for doing that. And uh, thank you to everyone for listening. And thank you, David. Yes, um, oops, my pleasure uh, was a, a wonderful joy to have you on here as linen ladies. Boy, I could just keep going on and on and on, couldn't I? But it's, we're going to have to, uh, oh, well, but Don's, they're taking advantage. It's okay. They're uh, 2 30 and 7 p.m. at the Western Fair this weekend. Thank you, Don, for that. Oh, boy, it just won't stop. So here's, here's one more final thing that I would ask you to do. Please tune into my show again next Tuesday, 8 o'clock Eastern or whenever you can. Also, this, video will be available for replay. So share this around. Don, use this video for whatever you want. Feel free to use it. Ladies, share it around with your other Girl Power friends and family. And spread the word. Girl Power is powerful. Thank you once again, everybody. i got to wrap it up now. I'm David Burrows on the Video Show Network. This has been Live with David and Girl Power. Bye for now.